Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Today I've been doing a little raking. Got my last uh, bit of hay cut. It's, uh, it's a little dry, done turn brown, and probably ain't gonna be worth a flip. I had to get it off the field, and it's a little wet right now to try to get it bailed up. So what I thought I'd do is make a quick video on this tractor, talking about generators and the issues we have with them all right like i was saying talking about generators a bunch of kitties the one up in the seat but this is a 74 uh, i believe ford 3000 it does have the generator on it which means uh it has to have a voltage regulator which is this jewel and this jewel sits right up up in this area and what you run into is when you uh, have to change your battery out or uh, your battery dies, such as in this case, when you crank it up, <clears throat> it's not charging. Uh, you'll have a light, like you should have a light, that comes on. It looks like that. Can you see that? I don't know, I can see it. Anyway, this is a battery light, and this is the oil light. So when you crank it up, this stays on all the time. And that tells you that the battery is not charging. So what we have to do is we have to reflash the field on these on, uh, voltage regulators. Uh, and the field, and the reason I keep this old one here is to just remind me of what the, which one's the field. Well, the field is the F terminal, which is this terminal and we have to flash it to the battery terminal or the B terminal which is this terminal so we pull this wire off and touch it to that terminal and that flashes it and then when you crank it up it uh it goes to charging on you like it's supposed to so let's see if we can find the voltage regulator on this Ford 3000 it's a little bit of a pain to get to. It's actually right there. So I have to take this battery out or move it out of the way. We gotta take this, loosen this up and flip it down. And then we can move this battery out of the way to get over here to the voltage regulator. I'm gonna put my light on it. And this is the voltage regulator. So this little terminal with the blue wire it's got to be flashed to that terminal on the end. Now this voltage regulator was replaced and it don't tell you nothing about having to uh, flash that. Now this old one, it does. It says polarize before starting engine, disconnect field wire and flash to B or battery, which is B. All right, so getting over here in here what we got to do is loosen this uh, what we can do is and that is pretty dirty I know y'all can't see what I'm doing here you can do it more than one way it's difficult to get in here and these terminals are filthy but we need to get something from here to here all right, so a piece of wire and what I have, I think I have on here, it may be on the other tractor, it is, uh, somewhere, I thought it was on this one, but it ain't. All right, let me go find a little piece of wire, I guess so, right back with you. If you've got a piece of a wire with some alligator clips, it makes this job a lot easier. All we got to do in this case is we can plug this one back up. We don't need it. We just need to flash that one so we find the, uh, whichever one's the positive, which is this terminal. Put an alligator clip on it. If we can get it on there. And then we'll just touch it to this guy. And it should spark. You see it sparked? We'll plug him back up. If I 
can see what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? It's hard. Hard to see in here. Alright. Now if all is well, and this thing will crank, which this battery's needing replacing, it's died on me several times. Let's see if we can get it to crank. This light should go out. didn't spark it good enough or may have lost its spark we'll try that again sometimes it takes more than one time make sure I'm on the battery turn on him I think this time I'm just going to spark it right to that terminal There it went. You see that spark? Let's try it again. Alright, right, so that means I got a good flash on it and now it's charging up. So just wanted to cover that guys in case you run into that issue. And you will run into it on these generator uh, style tractors. Uh, if you change the battery out or if the battery dies completely on you, it will lose the field going to the generator and then when you crank it up it won't charge until you reflash the field. And which is what we just did. And uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps and stay tuned for more.